Well, hello, my name is Ken Osnes. I'm the Vice President of Franchise Development at the Velfor Franchise Group, and I'm delighted to be here today with Ted Spears. Ted is the president of one of our newer brands, Patch Boys. Welcome, Ted, glad you're here. Thanks, Ken, thanks for having me. First thing I wanna ask you today is uh, give us a little bit about your background. You have a unique background, different from a lot of folks. Well, I do, and, and a lot of people will say it's non-traditional ending up where I am, but I really look at it to say, a lot of it makes sense based on where I am. So I, you know, I grew up um, in the Ann Arbor area, but was a hockey player and ended up playing at the University of Michigan and then professionally for a while. But along the way, I always had a passion for business and, and marketing. And so as I transitioned from professional sports to business, I started working with the, the Little Caesars um, franchise system mm -hmm. and worked there you know, for almost nine years and really you know, started to appreciate franchisees, the business, what, what are those things that make a successful franchisee, and getting out in front of them and talking to those to create relationships. Um, and, and then from there, you know, my, my career uh, you know, took a, a step to the right where I you know, moved over and worked for the Red Wings and you know, had to you know, utilize my marketing and strategy business you know, from a sports marketing standpoint. Um, wonderful time, won the Stanley Cup three times, hey, which hey. was marvelous. And, and then from there, worked for a B2B company and then went back into the NHL and then was fortunate enough to uh, be in the right place at the right time when um, the Belfort Franchise Group bought the Patch Boys and was connected with this organization and was asked to come in and, and uh, start working with BFG and the franchisees and have loved every minute of it. So we already, if we have hockey fans out there, we've only ticked off maybe 90% of them, the fact that you're, that you're a Red Wings guy, but uh, I'm sure they'll uh, give you a little slack for that, since, well, especially since the Red Wings aren't that good these days. Well, the most ironic thing is, for the last two years before I came here, I worked for the Colorado Avalanche. So now, wow. I, now you've got the Red Wing fans upset and the Avalanche fans upset, but it is, you know, that's another story though. Wow, so you come in with this brand, uh, one of our, as I mentioned earlier, one of our newer brands, but already have over a hundred franchise locations in 20, 20 some states at this point. What is it about, uh, the, the, tell us about Patch Boys. What kind of business is it? What's the core business? Oh, uh, the Patch Boys has been fascinating, you know, for me is the, there's a couple of things that really stick out about, about the brand and the franchisees. First, the, the franchisees, it's really, uh, a team. I'm amazed how much communication, how much they want to help each other grow, mm -hmm. how involved they are. We're in training right now. We have two of our franchisees that are part of the training, rolling up their sleeves to make sure our new franchisee understands the business mm -hmm. and starting that relationship, you know, early. From a business standpoint, it's really in terms of what we provide, which is drywall repair. It's really a, a market that's untapped. There aren't any national, other national brands that provide this service. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen as we've grown, and since you know, the time you know, Belfour Franchise Group bought the Patch Boys, that we're continually growing. The demand is there, the opportunity is there, um, and we see nothing but over the next five or 10 years, a lot of growth for our brand. So the name can kind of take people down a, 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 an assumption that it's patching drywall, but it's not just like patching the, the hole that some kid made with his hockey puck in his house when he played hockey indoors and he's got the hole in the wall. It's more than that and it's more than just residential. So talk, talk about exactly the kind of services that you provide. Well, and in, if you think about it, and our founder really you know, capsulized the concept is everything's behind the wall, whether it's residential or commercial. And so, you know, your pipes are behind the wall, electricity's behind the wall, you know, your, your heating and, and air conditioning is behind the wall. And so all of that, at some point or another, whether it's a residence or a business, needs work. And those people mm -hmm. that come in at work, they're not experts at how to, you know, repair that wall, we are. And so yeah. that's really where the business was founded. And we've seen that continually grow as people are looking for somebody that's reputable that knows how to fix, that has a group like the Belfort Franchise Group of 100 mm -hmm. experts behind them so that if they have a question in the field, 
we have the answers. And so really been excited about where we are now and really looking forward to the growth. So being a part of Belfour, being one of the largest general contractors in the world, doing major projects, multi-billion dollar company on an annual basis, whether it be uh, just construction projects or hurricanes, floods, fire damage, there's all, all sorts of opportunities that are now afforded to the new franchisees that are coming in for the training to connect with a local Belfour office, to have the opportunity to be able to go and work on some of their projects. So some of it's commercial, uh, some of it obviously is residential, there's all sorts of different things, but what what is it that's, you know, what type of guys and gals are wanting to buy this business and what's attracting them to it? Well, I, I think there's really two answers to that question, Ken. First, as you talk about Belfour, uh, the restoration company and the Belfour franchise group, the, you can see why they bought the Patch Boys because the Patch Boys complements all those things that <laughs> Belfour and Belfour um, Franchise Group is doing out there. So when Plumbers is out or 1-800 water damage, they know who to call. You know, it's somebody mm -hmm. in, in the same family. Plus the expertise, I've been amazed in terms of as I'm trying to solve challenges or questions that, that come up, there's somebody with, within Belfour that has helped me 100% of the time. You know, whether it's constructing a training site so that we can replicate what happens in the field or from a digital marketing perspective, hey, how can we target this audience? Right. It's, it's been fantastic. And then, you know, for somebody looking at it, you know, at a business to see not only our national presence, but the support that's behind us to help, mm -hmm. help us be successful. It's really a, a great opportunity for anybody that's is really looking for a business that has growth and support. So the types of people that are buying this business, some of them are buying it to be very, very hands-on. Mm -hmm. Some are buying it to be more of what we would call in the franchise business, a little more semi-absentee. They may have a job, business themselves that they run elsewhere. They bought this as an investment. They have somebody running it. But regardless of who those people are, what's a typical owner look like? Is there a general age thing or is it all across the spectrum? It's, it's, it's multi-generational. So, okay. you know, we, ha we have franchi franchisees that have been in the business world, not necessarily in construction, but, uh, you know, for a long time, they make a transition, want to run their own, own business. Mm -hmm. Ben's very successful. Even if they don't have construction business um, ex expertise, yeah. they're, they're able to run a business and work with us to, you know, help manage that operation side of it. And then mm -hmm. we have other people that have been in the construction business that are looking to make the next step to run their own business, to you know create a workforce and a team themselves. So they create a livelihood not only for themselves, but also they're creating jobs in their community and that we've seen that grow. So mm -hmm. you know we're really looking for people that you know are have an opportunity where they're looking to run their own business, they're aggressive, they want to have fun and they're good business people. You mentioned that you have a training going on right now. Uh, tell us a little bit, there's, there's a technical side of the training to know mm -hmm. actually how to do this work, and then there's a business side of the training. And so, as you mentioned a minute ago, there's gonna be those folks who come in, some are already strong businessmen and say, I understand accounting and systems and things, I need to know the other side of the business. And there's gonna be the guys who've never run their own business uh, maybe okay behind a computer doing email or whatever, but running QuickBooks or Excel spreadsheets or things like that may be difficult for them. So tell us a little bit about the training. How long does it last? And, and what are some of the highlights of it? Yeah, it's it's really fascinating. I'm, I'm excited. I'm right in the middle of it right now. So we're halfway through. But, you know, to me, the, the training takes you through the entire business cycle. And so we have something called Jump Start that happens three weeks before you even walk through the door that starts to take you a look at the business side. You know, what does mm -hmm. our customer relationship management system look like and how does that work so we can help run your business? You know, what are those key things that you need to be aware of in your marketplace? Recommendations for hiring those people that are, are going to be a best fit for you, whether you're going to be you know, a hands-on operational yeah. person, or you're gonna you know, run it from the office and have you know, other operational people do it. So that before they even walk through the door, you know, they've had this jump start, and that's what we call that, of looking at the business. And then from a hands-on perspective, we actually you know, take them through 
you know, what's a day in a life look like for you? You know, from not only how do you set up your leads, but mm -hmm. how do you manage that lead? And what do you do? And we have, we have marketing experts. They do not, I, I love this. They, they do nothing but work with our other franchise brands and the Patch Boys on strategically trying to figure out, hey, how can I help you drive more leads? And they already mm -hmm. understand the franchise system. They understand our target audience. So they're experts in our business. Yeah. And we're very easily able to take that model and apply it. Just today, we, we turned on the leads and had to take a couple breaks because our uh, franchisee was <laughs> you know, working with the leads. Another training opportunity. We had another trainer with us that monitored those calls to make sure they understood what they were doing. And you know, you know, you get a feel when it's working. When the mm -hmm. franchisee takes you aside at the end of last night and goes, "You know what, Ted? When I came here, I didn't understand Belfort Franchise Group, but now I do." He says, "We're in this together. It's like I'm not just going to be out there by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, you're there to help us, and we really appreciate it." Well, we talked a little earlier about Belfort Franchise Group and the number of brands, and you know we're uh, we've grown to be one of the three largest service franchisors in the world at this point. Nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, twenty. Who knows how many brands we'll ultimately have? But uh, the great part about that is already we have forty five hundred franchise territories in fifty five countries around the world. So as you talk about the marketing and figuring out those avenues of the business. We've been there, we've done that for a good number of years on top of what Belfort has, has built over the last 50 plus years in their business. So uh, it's exciting to see, it's exciting to have Patch Boys on board. Uh, you know, I wonder uh, if you were talking to somebody today that was thinking about getting into a business, what would be the pitch that you would make for them to say, you gotta look at Patch Boys? Well, I, I think it's, it's a, a couple of things. One, the investment is minimal. It's, you know, in terms of getting involved, it's not a, a tremendous amount of investment on the front side. Mm -hmm. And and in terms of once you're involved, the, the thing that I'm amazed with is the support. You know, I'm you know really impressed with the team that's there that can apply their expertise to your business. It's almost mm -hmm. like you have your own little agency that's focused on, hey, yeah. how can I how can I make your business grow? And literally, I've you know had a couple of calls from franchisees. I didn't have the answer. It, you know, I made a couple of calls to you know to a couple of our colleagues. Boom, we had an answer, and then away we go. And yeah. and so there there are so many advantages uh, to it. Uh, for example, I mean, we have Belfour, uh, and the Belfour Franchise Group has relationships with General Motors, with Sherwin Williams, with Lowe's. Those are all passed down to the Patch Boys franchisees. They mm -hmm. love it. They're like, you know, we feel they, it makes them feel like they're part of an international company yeah. versus just the Patch Boys. Right. Yeah. And we, it gives us buying power, be able to buy right. things at a much cheaper rate and all those types of things. So yeah, it's exciting. And you know, you shouldn't be afraid of, you know, if you don't know the answer, my common phrase I use all the time is I'm already telling you more than I know. So, uh, you know, it, it becomes to tough. That. Yeah. So to it usually gets people to back off. You know, you can say, Hey, I've only been here for a little while. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to put all this together. So, uh, is there any, uh, as we, as we wrap this up, is there any final words of, of encouragement or inspiration you'd share with, you know, somebody looking to get into this business? Well, I, I, I guess I use the word exciting. It's an exciting time to be a part of, of the Patch Boys. Exciting from a standpoint of, we still have a lot of great territories that are available. Not everybody has that. So yeah. as, as people are looking to run their own business, we have some great tar, you know, territories that are available. Our sales are growing every month. Uh, there, you know, the demand has been great even during the, you know, this, you know, challenging time. Mm -hmm. So from a, from a business standpoint, we see nothing but growth and opportunity and, and the team is only going to get better. You know, the team yeah. that we have of support from the Belfort franchise group, but also from the franchise system, you know, they're very supportive. They provide us with a lot of insight. And a lot of times, you know, I'll get answers from, you know, from our franchisees so that we can apply that to other franchisees. Right. So it's, it's really a team and a family, and I'm excited to see how it continues to grow. Well, Ted, appreciate the opportunity to talk with you today. And I know that if people want to get information about 
The Patch Boys, they can go to www.thepatchboysfranchise.com to learn more and they'll be uh, put in touch with somebody to help them learn a little bit more about the business. So thanks to you, much success to you as you continue to build this brand across the United States. Thanks a lot, Ken.